Hello everybody, this is Rohan from Math Gems, and today we are going to be proving the Pythagorean Theorem. As a reminder, the Pythagorean Theorem states that for any right triangle, the sums of the squares of the legs equals the square of the hypotenuse. I drew this diagram by basically drawing out the square that has side length C and making copies of the original triangle to go along with this square. Now, this angle is apparently 180 degrees, but we can prove that it is because all the angles in the triangle are 180 degrees. So, to show you what I mean, we can say that this right angle plus the angle opposite to A plus the angle opposite to B equals 180 degrees. Well, this right angle in the triangle is just the same right angle as the right angle in the square. So they're both the same thing, and the angle opposite to B is in both figures. And because these triangles are congruent and similar, this angle opposite to A is the same as the one in the other triangle. So that means this is a complete edge and it's not some sort of vertex. Now, since we know that, we can start deriving C squared in terms of A and B. Now, we calculate C squared in terms of A and B by basically saying that C squared is the whole figure minus four times the area of the triangles. So that means C squared equals A plus B whole squared minus four times AB over two, which is basically saying C squared equals a plus b whole squared is the area of a square that has side length a plus b minus four times the area of a triangle. So we're good with that. Let's move on. We start by expanding a plus b whole squared into a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And then we simplify this four times ab over two into minus 2ab. So that means these two ab's cancel out and you're left with a squared plus b squared, but we started with c squared. So that means a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Thanks for watching.